welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to possibly the most exciting video of the year for me every year. I love to just hit home sense, head on, Antique Max, sniff out all the pumpkins, go through all the mugs, the candles. I've got the lot in today's video. So I am bringing you a home sense haul. It is predominantly autumn decor and um, yeah, all the exciting autumn bits but I do have just a couple of other like accessories foodie items but yeah oh my gosh I'm so excited to be filming this video guys if you haven't already make sure you're set with a nice pumpkin spice latte PSL's back and I've already had one too many I'm not gonna lie um I just love them it's just such a wholesome time of the year autumn whereby I'm thinking cozy evenings pumpkin candles lit baking speaking of baking great british bake-off harry potter long walks pub dinners i mean it's very gloomy outside i'm looking outside the window right now and it's just giving me all the feels i am so excited for this season so yes sit back relax put your feet up let's get into today's haul go big or go home right this ginormous pumpkin came straight in my trolley. I was going to say basket. I definitely had a trolley. Um, $17.99 this one was. And it says its RRP is £27. I need to go through my autumn decor downstairs. But um, in prep for next video, which is my autumn decorate with me. So excited for that. But yeah, I just need to get out a few last bits. But I'm pretty sure I didn't get the smaller one last year. But I do remember these big ones last year being £12.99. So prices are going up, but you know, I do really love this. Even if this was like sat on a porch on Halloween. So that is the first pumpkin I picked up. I did get one more and it is this gorgeous. How pretty is this? It's like this knitted woven kind of look pumpkin. It's actually not, it's just like a, like a plastic pumpkin, but that looks like it's been knitted with this little plait detail here. Very farmhouse American style, which is definitely my preferred theme when it comes to decorating for autumn. I don't like to go overboard, just the odd little touch here and there. I say go overboard, I probably go far more overboard than a lot of people. And just the odd candle burning. For me, I don't really decorate Halloween-y. I decorate more like farmhouse autumn style. So when it gets to Halloween, maybe a couple of days before, I might throw out a couple of like Halloween-y bits, but um, which I did actually get one of, which I'll show you in a second. But other than that, I'm very... <sighs> you know, there's a lot of witches and scary stuff in TK Maxx. I'm just more... <sighs> so yeah, anyway, this is gorgeous. It was... How much was this? I think it was $7.99, the label's come off, but I think it was $7.99 from memory. I'll show you the Halloween-y, if we're going to call it Halloween-y item that I picked up. It's from the kitchen section, and it is this jar, which has this kind of sticker, sort of decal thing on the front. Magically delicious, the Witch's Kitchen at Salem, Massachusetts. What does Salem make you think of? Anyone else remember Sabrina the Teenage Witch? I'm pretty sure her cat was called Salem. I thought this would be quite fun to throw in a load of autumn coloured treats like Reese's maybe. It could even be a nice treat jar to have by the front door for when people come trick or treating for them to be able to pick some treats out of. But yeah, like just a load of Reese's cups in here or something like that. Any other, maybe like orange lints could look quite nice in here. This was $5.99. And then again, kind of Halloween-y inspired items, again from the kitchen section actually, is these two. So firstly, this set of napkins. Oh, there was a sticker on the bottom that said $7.99. I was thinking, no way did I pay $7.99 for these. I've just realized it's the sticker for that pumpkin, the missing sticker for that pumpkin. These are $2.99 and they're just paper napkins with this skull on the front it kind of reminds me of all saints that like illustrative design so there's actually three designs in fact let me have a look at these because that pumpkin one looks so nice yeah see that's not halloweeny at all so that skull obviously is and then the back one will be as well because it's like a crow oh sorry not a crow raven but the pumpkin ones definitely don't have to be halloweeny they could be out like in 
autumn farmhouse style aren't they so yeah love them 2.99 for those and then the other item from the kitchen section that is halloweeny but i actually kind of got them more for the pumpkin they're just cookie cutters with the ghosts and pumpkins but i thought these would just be ideal there's two there's a smaller one and a big one these would be ideal for baking cookies 3.99 for those they have such a big selection if you've got a pooch like i do i've got golden retriever barney he is almost two. He's going to be two at the end of November. And yeah, they have such a big choice of toys this year. So I decided to pick him one up. It's a little bone. Three ninety nine, pounds And yeah, I, I think there's a squeaker in there. I think there is. But I won't squeak it just in case any pooches are watching in the background or asleep in the background. Okay, let's just head straight into the candles next because that's what we all go to Home Sense for at this time of the year. They have such a good selection of candles and definitely not all Halloween-y. They do have a lot of Halloween scents and stuff, but they've got some gorgeous designs as well. This one I loved the look of. It's a white pumpkin and then it just has like a whitewash um, wooden lid that just says natural essentials on it. And again, that little illustration of a pumpkin on the front I just think is so cute. It's three wick. And actually it's okay because sometimes with pumpkin scents I can be a bit funny with. You know if they're super, super sweet um, or like sickly, but that, that one's actually quite nice. It's a bit, it's a bit fresher. I'm not going to lie though, I definitely get candles at this time of the year for the aesthetics. Christmas candles, however, I love the scents of. The pine scents, the apple, love that. This is the cutest candle. It's in like a jar, jar candle with a recipe on the front as well, farmhouse cookies. So it's quite a sweet scented candle, this one. But I actually thought it'd be quite fun to have that out and even light the candle whilst baking. It's just very sweet, which I guess when you're baking, the whole kitchen smells sweet anyway. So farmhouse cookies, ingredients, apples, oats, banana, peanut butter, and cinnamon. So that actually sounds like maybe quite a healthy cookie version because it's literally just oats that bind it together. It's, I can imagine it's more flapjacky. Um, but with the banana, apples, cinnamon, and peanut butter in, I think I'm going to have to bake these some point, maybe in a vlog coming up soon. And then the last candle that I picked up for now, because let's face it, if I end up seeing any more that I love, I'll of course share with you in vlogs. But the last of the candles that I picked up for now is this gorgeous one that just says white pumpkin on the front. And it's got this little jute ribbon with the leaves and berries. And oh, how nice is that font? And look, wow, this one's kind of pricey. And they've put a label on top of the label as well. So I bet prices have gone up on these candles since last time. I see what it was before. No, I can't tell what it said before, but it was 10.99 this one. It's definitely, like I said, an, a nicer looking candle. So that's the main reason why I got it, to be honest with you. And then lastly for home fragrance, they do have lots of room sprays that, again, I was tempted for, but decided against. But I did spot this reed diffuser, which I thought looked adorable. Again, the illustrations, honestly, it tends to be the packaging and the design that sells me. But this one is pumpkin cinnamon. So I do quite like a spicy scent over the sweet ones, like I said. So the fact that it's got cinnamon in it and it's got this kind of nice dark mango wood, acacia wood lid and reeds, which are a bit different, aren't they? You don't very often see reeds in that color. And then I resisted the mug section apart from one. One did draw my eyes to it. And I have to tell you why, because every single mug is Halloween mug. It's not just an autumn mug, it's they're all Halloween mugs. Um, I did see this one. I guess some would say it's maybe Halloween-y, but the fact that it's, for me, it's just like a pumpkin with a black mug and a terracotta base that I actually don't think it's too Halloween-y, apart from the fact that it's obviously black. It would have been nicer if the black was white. I feel like that would have been lovely. But yeah, it's from Market Finds and um, it was a $4.99 this one. So had to pick that one up. I did get one snack one cheeky little snack and they sound amazing maple and pecan dark chocolate digestives rrp of 10 pounds these ones they're a number two label which if you know you know number twos are the good ones and these were only 3.99 so i thought i would get these cartwright and butler digestives that's what they look like on the back for 
my pumpkin spice latte. The last section that I have within this haul is actually stationary bits. So nothing to do with autumn. So if you were only have the autumn, you can switch off now, but I do have some fun stationery finds. The first was in the clearance and I couldn't leave it behind because of course it's got a golden retriever on the front. And I just thought this would be a nice generic card to have within my card collection. So that if ever I need to do a thank you note, a congratulations, a happy birthday from Barney type card, I've got one. It was £1.40 in the clearance. And he's so cute. So then I came across this brand, this whole brand called Monograph. And I ended up getting loads of products from this range because let me tell you, they are lovely. Really nice designed, again, really nice brand, which sold it to me, but also the actual designs of these stationary bits too. So um, I first of all saw these, um, this bag of clips and it was £1.99. I have a whole stationary tub down in our storage room. So this is going to go straight in there to um, be able to have to hand. But RRP of £8. These are only £1.99 and they are little, there are little tick boxes on the bottom. Black, gold and zinc. Um, 33 millimeter clips. These ones are the gold ones. And then I've got, I'm actually going to open these up because the only thing is, is a lot of them were sealed. So I couldn't tell what they're going to look like without opening them. So I didn't open them and they were that affordable. I thought it's worth the risk. $1.99 again, this one was, and it's RRP is £12 for this. And this box says paper for ornery office essentials for everyday interpreters and creative thinkers oh, okay this is not at all what i imagined it would be it's like a little um box full i guess you have to keep them in the box box full of little um paper cards some are lined some are like dotted square they're plain on the other side essentially like a little notepad then i got this box of invitation cards pack of 10 with envelopes these were £2.29 with an RRP of £11 and they come in this box as well which is so handy to have them stored. It's written with like a gold foil, it's time to celebrate and you've got all the details here um, which you can add to your invitation cards. I just think these are lovely. It's a nice like a thick card as well and again they come with the envelopes which even the envelopes are lovely and again on the back they've got the little gold foiled um, monograph logo there and then these next ones are note cards money gift five piece pack um 1.99 again and our rrp of nine pound for these ones and this is what they look like so on the front it just says go spoil yourself and inside it is money envelope type card that you can pop a gift card in there, a voucher for someone, and it has the value on there that you can write. And then again, it's got the envelopes on, at the back. And then last but not least, gift certificate cards, a five pack of um, a price at £2.29 and an RRP of £9. And this is what these look like. So these are on more of like a darker paper. And then if I turn it round, it does say monograph there, but if I turn it round, just shows you there how it is like a little envelope with there it just says gift certificate um a gift for you with a value of two so and so from so and so congrats just because best wishes thank you and you have to tick the one and then with a little note section at the bottom as well so again how nice are those and they just look so luxury but yeah that is everything that i have picked up from home sense and tk maxx hope you guys have enjoyed my seasonal haul and hopefully you get a bit of inspiration and take a trip down there yourself soon let me know of any finds that you get yourselves and um yeah hope you guys have enjoyed today's video so thank you so so much for watching stay tuned of course for more awesome content to come and i will hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys